for the song. Welcome to my channel. Today we are reviewing the DJI mics. This is the second edition. These are the Aperture MCs. These amazing lights are absolutely crucial to my entire cinematic kit. I'm gonna turn these off because these are gonna get really distracting. This one right here, by the way, has a little lightning setting. So you can change these from paparazzi to fireworks and TV. You can see right there. You can even do party, pulsing, police car. And then if you download the Sinus app, you can actually change the rate of the pulsing and you can change a few other features that you can't do on the side of the MC light. But I absolutely love these. These are amazing. So I'm gonna put these away for a second. Now, today we are reviewing let me get a spoon out of here. Today we are reviewing the DJI Mic 2. So let's see what we have in here. Right now I am recording on the Rode Wireless Go 2 and permitting that Murphy doesn't get involved, hopefully we will have sound at the end of this. So always have a knife with you for unboxing CRKT. I've had this knife for a very long time, love it. Let's see. It's still very sharp. Very tough plastic. All right. Let's see what we have here, ladies and gentlemen. First off, I love that it comes with this pouch. This is an amazing pouch, it's very sturdy. Comes with the manual, but you should discover things on your own. The excitement of discovery. Little silicone things, by the way, very important. Do not eat. Look at that, do not eat. PSA for the day. All right, let's cut off this tag right here. You can read all these different languages if you want. They have everything from English to Chinese to Japanese to Klingon, okay. I'm not gonna read that. So, I'm gonna put the knife away. This looks like a little travel bag that you would find at Straight and Barrel. You put all your Q-tips and stuff in here. It's just this perfect little, feels sturdy, I love it. So we're gonna open this up. What do we have here? We have another silica pouch. Again, do not eat. If you eat that, it's natural selection. We have on the right, we have this little doohickey. Let's find out what this is. This is the little dead cat. So the little dead cat right here to prevent wind and noise from arising when you don't have ideal settings outside. That's very important. So I'm gonna put that back in here. We have the USB to USB-C right, cable right there. We have this cable. If I wanna plug in to a recorder like the Zoom H6, I can use this cable right here. And that fits neatly right back here. It's very tuck and snug. On the left right here, we have another dead cat. So we have two dead cats right here. And I know that sounds horrible, but if you look inside, this perfect little pouch, everything is snug and organized. I love it. Two dead cats because you have two mics. Then we have the case. Now this feels like it's bulletproof. It feels very well made. It's some kind of alloy or metal. Feels like we're ready to go to war with bad audio. Love the case, open this up and voila. Now immediately I open it, I already know that it's half charged. As soon as you open it, look at that. Look at that beautiful screen. This is amazing. Now these mics are very small. Again, like the silica pouch, do not eat. On the back, this is metal right here and it comes with this little magnet. So you can actually put this behind a t-shirt or you can invert it. A little symbol here on the outside of the t-shirt. If you wanna be a little more discreet, it snaps on like that. This is absolutely genius. I already know it's on. On the side here of the th mic, you have your power on on, power off switch right there. You have, maybe I should read the manual. You have your gain right there, your volume. And so right now I know it's off. It's very crystal clear that I have one mic that is in the charger. The other one is outside of the charger. We're gonna find out, there you go. Put that back in here. Everything is snug. Everything is just tucked away. I wonder what button I pushed, by the way. Let's see. And there's a vibration. So it vibrates whenever something major goes on. You hear that? Can you hear that? So that's Bluetooth right there. So now it's pairing with Bluetooth. If I hit that button right there, we are going to pull this one out. Both come with this little piece right here, USB-C. You can snap it on down here, I believe. You snap it on down here. Anyway, they come with these little things you can put into a cell phone and get clean audio. So that is beautiful. That sits right there. On the inside of this case, it's a silicone, but it feels like a rubbery. So everything sticks really well. Anyway, right here, we have two receivers. We have this little screen right here, this little hot shoe mount. So when it goes on the camera, you can actually see what you're looking at. First off is English. So we want English. We don't want Chinese. We want English. Thank you very much. This is a touch screen. So today is the 24th of September. This dial right here, ooh, look at that. It goes all the way up to, nine, to 2058. They are so confident in their product that DJI set their calendars to 2058. Wow. Okay, so it's 2024. This is touchscreen, which I absolutely love. 3.36, oh, the time. It's 12.36. 
Thank you very much. We are gonna go to 1236 right there. There you go. Welcome to DJI. This is awesome. So right here, we have the levels. We can turn up and down. So we're gonna leave that right there. The power button's on the right. On the left-hand side, we have a little out port and we have a headphone port so you can actually monitor your audio, which is really great. And on the back, we have USB-C. We have little ports right there, little gold prongs right there that it charges with. So I can put this in here. It's charging right now. I love the magnet. They're very strong magnets, which I absolutely love. And so we're gonna try to link this other one so that we have both mics turned on. All right, guys, after fiddling with it, I figured it out. You just have to read the instructions. It's actually pretty clear once you are actually reading, which this is not DJI at all. This is more of a sign that I have to get better glasses and that I should probably get my eye operation. So now that both mics are connected to the receiver, as you can see right here, we are in business. And I have the gains turned down. I have left and right. And I even turned on the 32-bit flow rate on one and two. It tells you right there that we have a strong signal. It even shows you the battery right there. I can watch my waveforms in the top very at the very very left top corner it tells me that i'm in stereo mode let's go outside in a real world condition and see which one sounds better this is the audio directly from the phone this is the mic on the phone it's not horrible but it's definitely not professional broadcast sound it's this is a very loud street so i have cars behind me wanted to start with the sound the audio test directly from the phone so that we can get a baseline of what we're improving to. I'm recording with the Rode Wireless Go 2. I have the little dead cat right here. Now, this is a great mic, don't get me wrong. I love Rode. I think it's built more for a tripod system where you have a hot shoe and you have some way of putting this in your pocket or clipping it somewhere. It, I think it's meant more for that because this mic with a lavalier tucked in my pocket is amazing. This is a great mic, as you can hear. The issue is, is that on the back here, it's a clip. And it's not magnetic. It gets a little chunky right here when it sits like this. And we don't want audio equipment in the shot, especially for professional shooting. And then, you know, you don't want to put it here because then you're just, you look like a gym rat. So it's kind of difficult. The other thing is I can't see the waveforms. The waveforms are on top of the receiver because it's sitting in a hot shoe right there. And, you know, I have to like dip down the camera like that. And so it's not the most convenient mic. It's a great mic. So let me clip that here. Also, the other thing that is very irksome is that if you're not holding your phone in a tripod, and this is dangling, so this dangles like this. You see that? See how that dangles like that? Obviously, it's not dangling right now because I have this sitting in the Rode, by the way, makes tripods, little table tripods. I have this sitting in the Rode table tripod, and I have a cell phone holder on top, and then I have the Rode Wireless Go 2 receiver in the hot shoe on top of the cell phone holder, so it's not dangling. But other times, for instance, if I use it with the DJI gimbal, there's no hot shoe on the gimbal to add that and so it's just dangling around so anyway now i am filming with the dji mic 2 system now the great thing about this mic is as i am filming right here even on my cell phone i can look at the receiver and still see my waveforms fluctuating back and forth I'm sure you're gonna be able to hear this. There's a garbage truck behind me, very loud. I don't know why we can't come up with a quiet garbage truck. We can put robots on Mars, but blowers, weed whackers, and garbage truck, somehow we can't make that silent. Miracles of science. Anyway, the other thing I like is that this is magnetic. Unlike the road that has to clip somewhere, there's a magnet and it just clips to the back of my shirt. Now, this is a little chunky if it's on the outside. Oh, this is gonna be a great test for audio because this truck right here, is sent by Murphy, the guy who wrote Murphy's Law. That's his trash truck. And he's definitely testing out the capabilities of the TGI noise cancellation feature. Every Wednesday, it's like Grand Central Station here. Anyway, this can sit on the outside right here. You really want this in the center of your chest right here because this is a omnidirectional mic. And so if you turn your head too much to the left or to the right, you're not gonna get clean audio. So as long as it's in the center of your chest. So if you want a little more discreet look, you can actually invert this Put the mic under the shirt and then the and then put the magnet on the outside and you'll have a cleaner look and then on top right here underneath the dead cat the little portal the little jack thing for the lavalier mic this is a necessity if you're outside especially if you're in an area where there's a lot of noise a lot of wind you want to make sure the dead cat's on there if you want a lavalier mic pull that dead cat off and then insert the lavalier mic so let's go back inside the studio and let's compare well oops, is that a bee it's a dragonfly hmm 
see what you get get action on this channel hopefully i didn't get stunned now i have two waveforms i'm using the black magic camera app and i have waveforms there and i can also look at my dji waveforms on the mic here the great thing is is that it's attached to the phone through the clip my hands are free the mic is right around the center of my chest. It's magnetically clipped. You can't see it. It's out of the shot. It looks professional. It's just all around a great win. Whereas this Chunky Monkey, if I put it here, it tends to lean forward. And you know, if I put this right here, like this, like it's just, it's Chunky Monkey. And then it gets annoying. On the back here, there's still the clip. It's just not magnetic. My life has just become more evolved using DJI. These microphones here are a godsend. It's as if God said, hey, I can't hear you. So they developed a better microphone. And apparently God works it for DJI. Good drones, good mics, good cameras, good this, good that. It comes in this little case right here that could survive a nuclear bomb. I have no way of testing that. But I assume that if there was a nuclear bomb, the DJI case would survive. Whereas these feel very plasticky. They're very plasticky on the outside. When I attach it to my phone, this is dangling like this from my cell phone. There's just too much room for air. You know, it doesn't come out. Like it's very well attached. Rode did a great job there. But imagine if the back here were magnetic and this just clipped. Look. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Look at that. You can even do this ridiculous dance on YouTube and it's not going anywhere because it's a really strong magnet. Anyway, now that I have lost after that dance on YouTube, I love these mics. I cannot, with all honesty, recommend dun, 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 the wireless go-to. I can't, I, I can't recommend them. There's just too much going on. There's too many great things going on with DJI. I don't know what they're doing over there, but they're geniuses. It's as if Steve Jobs died and decided that he doesn't want to work for Apple in the afterlife, so he went and worked for DJI because every single product that comes out is amazing. I love these. This is my new mic system. I can plug in a lav mic. I know it's 32-bit flow, so if I'm screaming and peeking like this into the mic, it doesn't really matter because it's a 32-float mic system, which means that in post, I can bring down the audio. I can fix the audio in post, and that's the great thing. Both mics and the receiver, I believe, have its own mic, and there's just mics, 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 mics. There's mics everywhere, but they also have internal recorder. It's a great thing. There's just so many redundancies. Now, you shouldn't rely on 32-bit float. You should learn how to set proper audio. Audio. And you can do that if you know how to work with these mics. Well, look at that. Murphy said, that's lights out. <sighs> Sometimes the gods of film just give you a cinematic moment. You have to recognize that moment and don't take it for granted. With that, please consider subscribing, turning on all notifications, giving this video a liking with a thumbs up. If you can afford it, go out and buy the DJI mics too. Two, not the one, two. The number one is not 32-bit flow. The number two is, I'm gonna have to correct this lighting post. Also, this video is not sponsored by Liquid Death. If you wanna your, because you know, TikTok will, TikTok will kick me off if I say the N word, but if you wanna your thirst, then rest in peach. Stuff is really good. Oh, did I tell you that these mics also have internal AI intelligent denoising? It, you have a sound engineer on your chest. And if you invert them, you're wearing a sports coat, for instance, if you invert them and put the magnet on the outside and the mic on the inside, you're super discreet. Be careful with these because you never know who's wearing a DJI. If you ever see a little mic attached on the outside, be suspicious. The DJI mics are really good. They're so small, it's almost like having a little spy. Love liquid death. I know I said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. Please consider subscribing, turn on the notifications, and with that, give this video a thumbs up. Hope you can hear me clearly, which I know you can because I'm wearing DJI. And by the way, DJI, if you wanna send me any of your products, I will happily review them. And if you send them to me for free, then you can actually tell me what to do. But I get your products, so it's a win-win. I will see you next time.